what's up guys it's a new day another day another adventure so my name is Emil underscore traveler and I'm in the streets of Nairobi I want to be showing you how the streets of Nairobi looks like especially in one among the most affluent as I'm trying to rush somewhere because I'll be traveling to another destination so I want to to take you along with me as I'm going to a new destination so make sure to stick around it's going to be an epic journey an epic adventure and uh, an adventure to learn a lot of things and a lot of, about the country so I'm accompanied by some of my two friends we are going out to a new destination we are rushing somewhere because of time and uh, I want to take oh, you along okay. with you So in this side of the, uh, the city we are in Kilimani and uh, I want to show you how it looks like so let me show you man so that is Kilimani and there is a lot of development that's uh, happening the high rises so, Missionaries of Africa, Optic Mission Hospital. Yep. The hospital. Nairobi Hospital. We're in Upper Hill. So that this is called um, the Green Park Terminus. It was it has been just uh, it was constructed maybe a few years ago. This is where like all the matatus from outside Nairobi were supposed to be uh, like part from here. Yeah. So the essence was all these matatus that fairly people from outside the city they were supposed to come and park here so that they can reduce the congestion in the CBD. I don't know what happened, but I think it's a working work in progress. Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. It was so chaotic. Further assessments. Um, 
passengers would now complain they had to walk from uh, okay. maybe uh, downtown up to this side so it was a bit hectic and uh, generally it was not helpful for any person any person oh. yeah. so that is bunge house Uh, I want to say hello. <laughs> You're good. So, guys, we are about to catch the Nairobi Expressway, but we go down there. That is High Selassie. You go down to the CBD, the city center. So that is it. That is We're it. Now joining the expressway. So our stress about the traffic is over. We fly. Right. So this is the expressway that was uh, launched by the then president of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. So uh, right down there, uh -huh. there is the um, what do you call it? The museum. Poor. The Lelwe Museum. Poor. Yeah, Nairobi, uh, Nairobi Railway Museum. Yeah, so that is the skyline of Nairobi. So the construction was done by the, the Chinese was the one that was given the, the construction work, yeah, the contract to do it. So guys, we are from the Nairobi Expressway and we are headed to the airport. Also, 
it reminds you of the freeways in your country, you know? Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, man. It's, uh, it's, I think it's too expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it's too expensive. But then again, it has everything it has to be a price. So time is a price. Yeah. So you know it has to be expensive to be a freeway. So other people can't take it. And then you stop your profit. It's almost like um like an easy pass. We have an easy pass over. An easy pass to where you're heading to. Yeah, it's like an lane where you can take the stick. And then you know there's like a car and then you can go as fast. Well not as fast as you can go, but you can go. You can go without traffic. So. I think that's how it feels like here, yeah, like that easy pass. All right. Expressway. Expressway. Uh, Otherwise, so you would be stuck there. You see oh yeah, we'll be stuck in the traffic. It could be. Oh, if guys, yeah. we didn't use the expressway. We could be stuck. In this Guys, from there you can be able to tell how people are, how people are flying on this expressway, you know. It's like go, 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 go. I don't want to be stuck on the traffic. I need to get where I'm going as fast as possible. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how it works in Africa yet, but <laughs> uh, where I'm from, we are late. We are late. We need to make a plan. You got to go check in all that. Like, no, you're too late. You should check in like an hour before the plan leaves. So guys, we are rushing to. We are rushing to the airport. We wanna go catch our flight to our next destination, which I'll be sharing to with you. Like, yeah, as this uh, video proceeds, I don't wanna tell you where I'm headed, but uh, when I get to the destination, I wanna let you know where I'm headed. You know, so make sure to stick around up to the last part of the video. You know. So, yeah, let's continue enjoying the ride on the expressway. And to add on that is that uh, this expressway has really opened uh, Nairobi. Like, it has reduced a lot of congestion, you know, and it has lifted the face of Nairobi, especially with the flyovers, with the, like, overpass roads, you know. Uh, you know, like a country with a lot of infrastructure and uh, uh, overpasses, underpasses, they tend to, like, be going in the right direction on the right track you know so i guess we are almost heading to the airport take a one kilometer we're almost there so let me show you the planes see the planes as they land and that's the hangar where the planes are standing yes that is the jet yeah, man. And I'll pay? Yeah. How many times do you have to pay? Uh, only once. You just take the ticket there, then you come and pay again. Oh, no. Okay. So another thing, guys, uh, when you're using the expressway, uh, you have to get uh, your ticket when you are beginning to use the expressway and then when uh, you reach at the end of the expressway you have to pay like a toll fee i guess that money goes to the maintenance and paying the uh, maybe the people who are working at the toll stations you know so also that's the one contributing factor of this <laughs> i was looking at it i was saying i saw two so now <laughs> one way is it? so you have to pay like a toll station of a certain fee 
I guess it was uh, around maybe 300 Kenya shillings previously, but right now they have added some fee. I don't know if, what is it for. Is it because of their fuel? Maybe the maintenance is going high or something of the sort. So let's see. So I guess we have paid, I think, uh, 330, right? Was it 330? What? Uh, like they have displayed on that that screen. Yeah. Uh, 300 and that. So, uh, yeah, it was 330. Yeah. Because it all depends on where you boarded the expressway, the expressway from. from. So for our case, we bought it from uh, the High Sellers Sea Avenue. Which so, is a which shorter is route. Just, which is just uh, so, at the end of the CBD uh, using Uhuru Highway. Okay. So, so that's so close. So now you get your security check in, I'm going to have to jump so also some uh -huh. one thing to note uh -huh. we boarded at uh, 1302 13, hours uh -huh. and we've exited that 13 so we uh, nine minutes nine minutes so here you are light so guys we have gone through the security check and everything is right so we're about to go and go man it's crazy Everything is in check, got our tickets, we are on board right now, we are to the destination we are supposed to be headed to.
Great news from Cisco Africa for you and your loved ones. Cisco Africa is giving you an opportunity to own a home at discounted rate. For more information, refer to a manufacturer as it for the report of you. And feel free to contact their number directly or scan the QR code to their website. Cisco Africa is the fire you give to own That was a very smooth ride, man. Woo. Finally, we get to touch down to our destination, man. And uh, we got to go and check out. And uh, what a smooth ride, man. Let me show you where we are. And at the checkout. Point. So that was the airplane that we have come with. Then let's go for checkouts. Arrival. Wagwan people, Samuel Anderson Traveler here, and uh, I'm back in Mombasa. So it's been like uh, a year when I left Mombasa and now it's now I've been coming frequently back to Mombasa. So I'm here for business and uh, to explore the city of Mombasa again. And I've seen it's uh, expounding and uh, changes are happening, but that old vibe is still there, you know. So for those who don't know, Mombasa is a coastal town, the second largest city in Kenya, uh, dating back to 900. 9,980 9, during the, the the trade between the Oman Persians and the Said Said. Here you will be able to see. Yeah, there is a lot of difference between the Nairobi and Mombasa, especially when it comes to the paintings of the houses. You're going to see like the blue and white. Uh, the blue is to represent, I think, the ocean, uh, the sky, and the white to represent the sandy beaches, you know. So... Let me show you how it looks like. So I left when these uh, back stony buildings are being constructed. Right now it seems like they are all complete. When you go down there, you're going to go to the CBD. And right now we are heading to a Nyali Bridge. So this is the bridge that connects uh, Island and North Coast. That building has been here for so many years, man. What? That building has been here for so many years. My Mombasa community, I'm back on, uh, on your land, you know. I'm here to keep on exploring Mombasa. Uh, showing you the sites that you have not visited, the sites that you have visited and also give you like much explanations on what uh, it entails. One thing is that in Mombasa a lot of tuk-tuks, the ones that uh, are the biggest means of transport here in Mombasa. So we're gonna see a lot of tuk-tuks 
preferring people from one point to another and that's the, the most convenient way of moving around apart from having the minivans that is the matatu and the motorcycles so yo the kekes <laughs> Mombasa is relatively it's beautiful, man. Mombasa is beautiful, especially being on the coast right Guys, this is Congo Air, the biggest market in Mombasa. This is where you can be able to get everything that you want. So most people here speak Swahili and uh, you'll get like uh, uh, Arabs, remnant of like the Omans because of the trade that was happening during those days, you know. You've been broken down Heart is beating, still won't make a sound It feels like an angel straight from heaven Just like my lucky number seven You're my shooting star We're running around in circles Love feels so invincible Feel you when there's no one so guys, I'm headed out to go and get uh, my accommodation and uh, refreshen up. It's been a long ride, it's been a long journey coming from Nairobi. Right now I'm in Mombasa and uh, the change of the weather, you know, from a high attitude to a low attitude. You get to understand the evaluation of the, the weather, or the temperature, or the attitude. So. We headed down to the town center, then now I go to my accommodation. I'll show you how it looks like. So this is Buxton stage and there is some uh, apartments that are being built here. I don't know if they are done or they are already occupied. Yeah. Actually right now Mombasa looks as if it's uh, uh, the face of Mombasa is being uplifted because uh, it just seems more beautiful than the way I left it, you know. It's hard, man. No, 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 Someone dropped their package on the road, man. More construction going on. This house has had burnt down, right? Yeah, that house had burnt down, so... It's good to be back in Mombasa. Mombasa Raha. Your beauty is so amazing. I will always hold you down. Your heart will be kept safe and sound. But I don't wanna love you when I'm fading.
also, guys, one thing uh, you should know is that Mombasa is uh, predominantly occupied by the Muslims. So that's the main religion that is being practiced here. So don't be surprised when you see a lot of mosques. Yeah, so... That is a mosque. So guys, right here we are almost at the town center. Uh, there is a market around here. It's called Marikiti Market. There is a lot of traffic, man. A lot of traffic. This is the main highway. The main highway. This is the main highway that connects uh, the south coast uh, to the island and also to the north coast. It's called Digger Road, right? <laughs> oh, it's hot, man. My kitty market. That's where you get all your spices and stuff. Oh, there is a new statue that has been placed here. I didn't leave this and I left like the, the buffaloes, man. Yeah, it was a crocodile. It was a crocodile and a buffalo trying, yeah. I think, to fight for space. Yeah. So, there is another mosque here. One of the most popular mosques in the Mombasa city, right? Mosque Masjid. So guys, this is Mombasa for you. For those who have been wanting to visit Mombasa. Oh. Yes, that's coming up, man. That is the post office. The post office. Yeah. I used to work around that house at one point in life. Basa. Basa Kisi one. So this road is called uh, Makadara, Makadara Road. There is a park around here called Makadara Park, Makadara Grounds. It's Makadara Grounds.
love Mombasa. So this guys is one of the older cities here in Mombasa. Yeah, began 900 AD. You'll get a lot of history about it. I'll get to teach you more about it. Yep. So tomorrow or maybe in the next few hours I'll be out here making vlogs for you man show you how Mombasa looks like guys uh, go from uh, this is just like the balcony so this is how it looks like and then boom that is the view man So dope and uh, basically to spice it on, that was I have man, look at that, so I'm just chilling out here, getting the cool breeze from the ocean, I will and enjoying my smoothie you know, and then uh, this whole of these ambience you know, and uh, I'm gonna go inside and I will show you how the place looks like, I just love being around people. And uh, yeah, I love being around people so that we can maybe have conversations, get to understand where they're from. It's kind of like um, it's a community thing. So it's man, I love it here. I've been here like maybe not once or twice. I love it here because of the breeze that comes from the ocean and then the ambience and then the food because it's so clear and then so convenient to town. So it's called Tulia Old Town. Backpacker. So if you are, be, you are in Mombasa and you really want to be and get somewhere that's so close to the ocean that has a good ambience, man, this is a spot, man. This is a spot. Let me go for my smoothie, man. It's so, oh God. This shit hits the spot, man. Whew. Gonna wait for one of my friends to come here to meet me here. I guess we can work a little bit, uh, set up some stuff that you're gonna have to do maybe for today and tomorrow. Yeah, so guys, let me show you the. So it's like imagine what else do you want in life, man? That's the ocean, bro. That's the ocean. You got some like those here. On the other side, that is the. side uh, that's Nyali the other side that is English Point Marina no no I guess no that is English Point Marina on the other side the city man it's so it's so beautiful man here yeah. I'm so glad to be back in Mombasa you know Whew. look at that beauty man and then during the night time, they'll always have like the, the dows that carry people around the, the ocean so that you can be able to like enjoy the sea at night. A lot, a lot happened at night, man. So I don't know. I'll just go back and show you how the place looks like, man. So someone is calling me. Hello? 